out at the JSA uh, Book Fair Organization Festival. Uh, it went really well. We have one more day to go, so I'd have to ask all the JSAers and anybody else who wants to help uh, come at 3 o'clock to the library today. We've only got like three or four boxes left, so let's get this done. And remember, fall fair is this Saturday from 11 to 3. If you're the head of a booth and you're setting up, you can come at 10 o'clock to start. Thanks. Oh, also, we need to speak to the 8th graders. I have not received a uh, form of your work, your cleanup people. So if you don't talk to me about that today, I will just find random people and assign them that. So come speak to me. So uh, it's a pleasure to introduce the newest member of our York family. This is Sh Shanna Kessler. Shanna is York's communications manager, and she works in the advancement office. And her job is to tell the York story, which is your story. So I want to encourage you, if something cool happens in a class, or you've done something really great in sports or arts or extracurricular activities, to come by our office um, and talk to Shanna about it, because she's anxious to tell your stories. She's responsible for our publications, our website, um, Facebook, all of the ways we tell the York story to the world. So please help me welcome Shanna, and please stop by. <laughs> something, whether it's listening or to music or looking at a piece of artwork or reading a story and having a discussion about one of those items afterwards, or doing a little math club or games or sports on the playground, there's lots of different options and it's according to your interests. So because of that, it can change, this can become a service learning activity. I can only take seven students because of the limitations of having one van available for me. You need to sign up for health and fitness and then you would do that health and fitness on Tuesday, Thursday, and I would excuse you from health and fitness on Monday and Friday to do King Tutoring. So if you want to do this, speak to me directly about it, and I will pick the seven people from the list that I get. The second announcement is a thank you for all of the volunteers from the Office and Ideas Festival. It was fantastic, and I've asked Christina to say a couple words. Um, so volunteering at the Authors and Ideas Festival is a really surreal and amazing experience. And I don't think it really hit me quite what was going on until me and about five other Yorkies were sitting backstage eating peanut M&Ms with the president of the Council on Foreign Affairs. So it was kind of this weird um, experience. And I guess it wasn't really a 
about meeting famous people, though, um, the most important thing for me was when I went out and introduced um, during student day, there was a whole bunch of young people that had the same opportunity as me to hear these amazing speakers um, present new ideas. And I know I realized that through these ideas, I could learn to innovate and I could inspire other people. So um, that's kind of what the Obvious and Ideas Festival is about, and I'm really happy to have been a part of it and to help make it happen for this community. So. volunteers that introduced authors or helped out on the weekend, or if you were one of the introducers for the student day, I have a bag for you if you didn't get one, and also an evaluation form, which you can use instead of the hours form. So please uh, turn in your hours verification form, and you can use this instead and get that for me. Thanks. 30 seconds each. <laughs> there are two types of students in this room. Those who have given a sophomore speech, and those who will give a sophomore speech. <laughs> this past quarter, the sophomores have been working very hard on writing and practicing and delivering their speeches. And uh, for those of you who have already given one, you know how nerve-wracking and exciting and fun and terrifying this process can be. Those who will give a, so give a sophomore speech, pay attention. Either way, I'm going to ask you all to be wildly supportive of the sophomore speeches that are going to be coming beginning next week. Thank you. So starting on Monday, we will have visitors coming to campus. And we are doing those on A, C, E, and G days. And uh, we would like to make certain that all of the students who are interested in hosting we have a training today and Tuesday. I'm going to read the names real quickly, but you can also look at Ms. Godoin's door for a full list. I want to make sure that everybody realizes, of course, most all of you visited at some point when you were looking at the school. And so we want to really be a welcoming community for our visitors, and we also want to be a clean community for our visitors. So please keep the campus looking nice. Um, it's important for us to engage with them. So training today, we have about half of the students who have already volunteered to host. We're gonna be training with their SHIELD students. I'm gonna read the names super quick, but it's really better to just look at the door. I'm not gonna read the SHIELD names though. We have um, time now. We're really no time, now. okay, so look at Ms. Godoin's door then. Um, and so training today, and then training also on next Tuesday. Thanks. But you just put facial hair. So on everyone your face. show up with facial hair. You can paint it or you can buy like the little, I don't know, mustaches, whatever. So you know, you can do the sideburns, the unibrows, whatever you feel would make you most hairy. Okay. So then Tuesday is nerd day, and there's going to be dodgeball in the gym at lunchtime. And then on Wednesday we're gonna have a toddler day and there's gonna be soccer on the field, so dress like really classic toddlers. And then Thursday is Superhero Day, so for all you people that wear capes on C-Day, sorry, you'll have to change it to Thursday. Um, yeah. and oh, then, and then there'll be volleyball in the gym at lunch on Thursday. And then Friday is just a red and black spirit day, so... I'm sorry, let's do it. We're explaining this. We're going to have powder puff on the field, which is like black football, I guess, for girls. It's really confident football. It's really fun. So. Oh, and dance club today at lunch in the gym. 15 seconds each. Key Club, everybody in Key Club, meet me at the flagpole right after break. break we're going to discuss fall fair. So the senior class for fall fair has a pie in the face booth, and we are looking for volunteers to be pied in the face. And it's 30 minutes, I think, for each shift, so come to us and talk about it. And we drum roll from the seniors, please, really quick. School. So today is Trinity, and remember to come for JV at 4 and for Varsity at 5. Thank you. Okay, JSA meeting tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be talking about fall state and taxes. Uh, oh, and it's also in room, <laughs> <laughs> it's in room 3, or, yeah, yeah room 3. Room 8, room 8. Well, we'll I'm in room 3. Yeah, <laughs> it's in room 3. Room 3. Okay, 
yesterday morning, I um, went through a few of the trash cans at York and got all these cups out, and that was just from two days after fall break. So that shows just how many cups we use. So a solution to this is bringing your own cup when you get coffee. Please do this. Um, this weighs three pounds, and that was just from two days. So if we added up to the whole year, that's a lot of pounds. That we're going to go to the landfill. So you really want to like help the environment, and it's, these are inexpensive and easy to get. So please, everyone, do it. All right, guys. Anyone who is at all interested in competing in the chess tournament, meet right outside by the bench after break. So sign up for, right after the break. They'll meet me and. Nick, outside the break if you want to sign up for the tournament. Anyone can come, don't worry about your skill level. It's just going to be a lot of people and a lot of fun. So, um, for Wally Wen, everyone at the club, please meet Mr. Martin's room or whoever can. Um, we're going to be painting our posters. And also, please check your fall fair and food assignments online. I send out emails to all of you. And also, um, Carolyn and I are doing our service learning project during fall fair, and we're going to be selling cards made by Rwandan women to help them um, get a stable income. So if you're interested in helping out, please talk to either one of us as soon as possible. And um, also there is a film festival being hosted by the UN Association of Monterey from number 8th to the 11th. If you're interested in coming, please um, look at the business in the office, the main office. I have flyers there. Thank you. Sorry, volleyball, but water polo boys have a game today at Catalina against Palma. <laughs> Everyone who can come should come. We appreciate it. Everybody, today is Noah's 18th birthday. off. You guys really need to keep doing your work jobs. Uh, everybody needs to do them today because Grand Prix Day is tomorrow. And also, crew for Honk, uh, we're having a meeting today during health and fitness at the theater. Thank you. So, I had a dream about a horse last night. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Don't you guys hate how lepers are so sore about everything? <laughs> so, <laughs> last year's Punmeister was telling me in graphic detail about his pancreas, and I just had to tell him, I don't need to know that much about your anatomy. <laughs> 